Hi, hi, welcome back to my channel. I have a very, very special video today and I'm super, super excited. Um, today's video is a new brand to me um, and they are cloth diapers from Swaddle Design. Um, I actually had never heard of these diapers before, but they're called the Smart Nappy. And when I was pregnant with Juju, um, I had got a swaddle blanket in my Amazon baby registry box and um, it has like the little zebras on it and it's like that was like our favorite swaddle blanket when he was a little baby so um, yeah I'm really really excited uh, when the lady reached out to me and asked me if I was interested in trying the diapers if I had tried them before uh, I was like, I never even heard of these before. Um, so I went and I looked at them and then I was like, yeah, those are so cute. And uh, like, I think two days later, I realized I have a swaddle blanket from there. Uh, so yeah, let's get into this because I'm so, so, so excited. I've been like waiting for it. Okay, so on top here, I just have like paper, a little note, and then I have um, a pamphlet about the nappies, the diapers, um, the next gen hybrid reusable diaper system. And these are sized diapers, so it's not like one size fits all. They have um, multiple sizing options. And yeah, this is about the company and about the diapers themselves. So they have like leak protection and everything. So their inserts look like they're bifold inserts. And I will have to see what they're made out of too. But they have some very, very cute prints that I really like. Okay, that's enough of that. We'll get into that later. Let's go to the diapers. Okay, um, this is the blue jeans diaper. And I had something kind of like this from a brand called like Kokalo or something when he was like a little bitty baby. But, oh what? Dispose or reuse you choose. Okay. Oh my gosh, it's so, it's so soft. Okay, and then you, uh, with your diapers too, you also get a little pamphlet. Um, but this is the diaper. It's very soft and very, very cute. And oh my gosh, I love that. And then also like if you ever like, uh, I guess lose the packaging or something, it has the sizing information there. And then my favorite, the little zebra. And these are hook and loop diapers, also known as Velcro. So all the way across the front, you have Velcro. And then you have your insert here. And then this is elastic and you put this part against baby's bottom. On the back, you also have elastic. So to help with like leaks and better fit. Um, so this says smart nappy insert and booster for best absorbency wash in hot water and tumble dry three times prior to use. So you want to wash this before uh, using it, like you need to prep it. Um, it looks like, so inside you have a booster, which is 69% polyester, 27% viscose, which I believe is from bamboo, and then 4% nylon. Do not iron, so yeah, you cannot 
like iron these and everything um yeah so the back is like looks like microfiber like towel and then the front is more of a like soft and smoother surface and it's basically like a pre-fold diaper and then you can put your booster inside of there and then take your insert put inside this pocket and like that nice and easy and i believe you can probably use let's see i have over here <laughs> i have an imagine baby um flat diaper just like pad folded and i think this can probably fit in here too in case you don't end up liking the inserts that come with them you can just try fold your or flat fold your diaper flat diaper and put it in as well so that's very nice i like that and then this helps with drying so um, if it's like everything is sewn in, uh, it will take longer to dry, but since you have the separation there, it actually is very helpful when it comes to drying your diapers. And then here we have the one that I chose because I love, love, love this one the most. Um, it's the muslin one and it has white background with um, little gray stars I can't wait to try these oh my gosh so when you dry muslin uh, wash and dry it kind of like quilts a little bit and um, gets a little more bunchy I love muslin. Same hook and loop closure. I think all of them are hook and loop. Um, and then also you have the same inside on this one. So cute. I also really like that you have the extra hook and loop here so that when um, for my baby, when he goes number two, like I like to kind of fold this up and then like do one of these kind of like you do with disposable diapers. So you don't have, um, you know, when you put it in the wet bag, it doesn't get like all yucky. Oops. Yeah, so I like that a lot. That's one of my favorite features in diapers. Okay, and then we have some extra reusable inserts here. Uh, these are the size three to four and they fit from 12 to 40 pounds. And there are five uh, sets of inserts in here and five boosters. So this is just the same thing as um, what comes inside of them. Um, Oh, nice. Okay, so these have the um, dry touch, so like stay dry uh, feeling on the top of them. So my baby has like wetness, moisture, uh, wetness um, sensitivity. And when uh, he uses something like cotton or um, bamboo, something that doesn't have the stay dry layer on top of it, like micro fleece or something, he... Um, we'll get like a rash and he doesn't like to, you know, be wet, it's uncomfortable for him. Uh, so we like stay dry on the top. And I actually use, I usually use a um, liner that's micro chamois uh, to go on top of his flat diapers and stuff so that he doesn't get a rash. But this has it on top already built in. So no need to use a liner if you don't want to. 
Um, it says they're fast drying too, which, you know, when you have the folded fabric versus sewn together, it's going to dry faster because it's less layers, you know, and one time they have to get dry. I'm not going to open these quite yet because I want to keep them in the package until I prep them. Because if I not if not, he will pull everything. He's he's a messy baby. You should see um right behind the camera right now. Uh, and the last thing, which is the super cool part of these diapers, if you don't like the um idea of like you know having to spray out your diapers and everything every time and um you know washing the diapers all the time uh there are good eco-friendly options like even grovia makes um the bio liners that um you can put inside the covers and then throw away and they degrade a lot faster um and they're more you know eco-friendly and stuff but these are the disposable inserts and they're hypoallergenic it says they absorb 16 ounces of pee uh, yeah and they fit well inside of the diaper um, holder the pocket because it's not a pocket really let's see so this says, um, okay, disposable inserts must be removed from smart nappy cover prior to washing the smart nappy cover. Do not place disposable inserts in your washing machine. Check smart nappy to ensure disposable insert has been removed prior to placing in washing machine. Smart nappy disposable inserts contain safe absorbent particles that gel when wet. If you see a small amount of gel-like substance on your baby's skin, it can be removed with a baby wipe or damp cloth. Um, it gives you like choking risk, like don't let babies chew on it, that kind of thing. Um, and basically uh, for disposal, shake baby's poop into toilet. Insert is not flushable, so you cannot flush these down the toilet. Remove disposable insert from smart nappy cover and discard in waste receptacle. Do not flush insert. Do not wash disposable insert. These are not washable, in case you didn't notice. <laughs> they are disposable, um, which is a good thing for a lot of people. Some people, you know, like I said, they just don't want to wash all the inserts and everything. So they come in the box like this. There are 22 in here. And I will check on pricing and leave it in the description box. But they just look like a big, long disposable pad. And um, I can imagine that these would degrade quite quickly uh, in, well, I guess, you know, everything kind of goes to a landfill, which is why I use cloth diapers. I don't want to add to the landfill as much as I can. I don't like single-use plastic, things like that. Um, but I think I probably will be getting some use out of these. They might stay in the van or something. So if we go somewhere, uh, you know, just if the need ever arise, um, I will have them available because sometimes uh, we go to um, family's house uh, in Alabama, drive like 16 hours, and then uh, we have another family member. He is deployed right now, but he's coming home soon and he lives four hours away. So, you know, back and forth and this will be nice. <laughs> okay, so I really think that these are a good option for a lot of people. Some people don't want to stuff into the pocket of a diaper. Um, some people don't want to like have to worry about pre-folds and the folding and like some of the hassles that come with that. Um, flat diapers can be a turnoff for people. This is something that I haven't really seen um, as far as diapers go. So I'm curious to see how they work and that'll be a separate video. Um, but it'll have to be after I get everything prepped and washed and ready to go on his bum. Uh, one more thing I want to mention is you don't have to have a bunch of these covers. Um, 
you just need a few and then you just replace the inserts uh, whenever you need to use them. So basically, if baby doesn't poop in the cover um, and the cover is not soiled, then you can reuse it and you just put a new insert each time that you change baby's diaper because what you're changing is the diaper, not the cover. And it's, um, what I like to do with my covers is uh, I do reuse them after he goes pee, but what I do is I have like two covers handy. So the one that I take off of him, I wipe it out with a wipe and then I hang it so that it can dry and I use a new cover and then I just, you know, switch them back and forth um, as I need to. So this is very nice and I will definitely be making a video um, with an actual uh, like review and everything and posting some really cute pictures. I actually started to crochet him a baby cowboy hat and I'm hoping to make him some little boots to go with this and do a little western theme maybe in front of my friend's cactus and yeah look forward to lots of things like that um if you like the video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you want to see more make sure you subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you know when i make my next video uh, and if you have any questions if you want to see something else make sure you let me know down in the comment section because if you don't let me know how am i supposed to know right okay thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in my next video bye bye